Hello everyone! Today we're going to be making a symmetrical butterfly using cut paper and drawing. So what I've got right now is a piece of paper that has been folded in half and then I have drawn half of a butterfly on the paper. So this part is like an oval shape for the body and then there's a big oval and a smaller oval for the wings. And while it's folded, I'm going to cut on those lines and open it up and see what happens. Getting good scissor skills practice today. Cut out the second part of the wing. I'm going to try to cut off that line too because I don't want that showing. But if it is, we can just turn it around so that it is on the back. All right, there is my cutout shape. And I'm going to open it up and see what happens. Ta-da! There is my butterfly. It is symmetrical. Symmetrical means if I draw a line down the middle, we call that the line of symmetry, it's the same on both sides. Kind of like people. Our faces and our bodies are pretty much symmetrical. If you drew a line right down the middle of our bodies and our faces. So we're going to try to make our butterfly the same on both sides. So if we do something on this side, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you can either use crayons or crepas or oil pastels and draw. Or if you want to, you could cut out from construction paper and make shapes on either side. I'm going to be using drawing today instead. So I'm going to start with the body of the butterfly and I think I'll use purple. I'm using my oil pastels today. So I'm going to make a line here and a line here showing that that's my body and I'm going to make a curvy what? smile shape. This is the head of the butterfly. I'm going to also make a curvy line like this several of them going down the middle and this is the body of that butterfly. Now I'm going to make the face. I'm going to make eyes that are kind of a blue color. I'm going to make a circle but I'm not going to color them in all the way. So try to make it the same on both sides. Did I do all right? I think so. Not too bad. And then I'm going to make a smile like that. And I'll add a little, little bit of detail. I think I'll add some eyelashes. Kind of fun. And maybe some black at the sides of the eyes like that. And this is your butterfly, so you can add whatever you would like. You can even add a little nose if you want to. All right, now on the inside of the lines, I'm going to practice some other lines that I've been learning about. One of them is a zigzag. So I'm going to fill up that middle with one zigzag. I'll add a line over there. And I'll change colors. Maybe I'll do pink now. This one's going to be a loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop. Loop-de-loop, just like a roller coaster. My next line is going to be a wavy line with yellow. Look at that. And I'm going to use orange next. This one's going to be a bunny hop. It's like a bunny is hopping around. Hop, hop. There we are. The bottom one I think I'll leave plain. You could add another line if you wanted to. Now I'm going to go around the outside and make what I call a border. Just a little line kind of bordering around like that. And now 
Oh, I did it on one side, so I'm going to do it on the other side, too. Make that borderline. Try to make it look the same. There it is. Okay. Now, inside my wings, I'm going to make them look very beautiful. So, I think on this side, I will make a triangle shape. And the challenge I have is to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to make a triangle shape over here. There it is. Okay. Switch colors. Now I'm going to do orange. Down here I'm going to make a circle. And then over here I'm going to make a circle. And what else can I do? I think I'll do another triangle here. This one's kind of a lime green. Facing a different direction, isn't it? That triangle. There we are. And I think here I'll make a heart. We've practiced hearts a little bit too, haven't we? Ooh, I think I'm doing okay. I have the same on both sides. I have room for one more shape. What shall I make? I think I'll use pink. And I'm going to make a trapezoid. Long line on the bottom, thinner, smaller line, and there's my trapezoid. I'll do the same thing here. Short line on top, longer line on the bottom, trapezoid. And now I'm going to color all these beautiful shapes in with my oil pastels. I love my oil pastels. They're so smooth and soft. So try to do your best filling in all the spaces. You're going to do better than me because I am going kind of fast. And I'll color in my blue. And these butterflies are beautiful. And you can go beyond what I'm doing too. If you want to make a design around the outside, maybe adding lines or things like that, go for it. This is your art, your art time. So be creative. And I will keep coloring these parts in, but I do want to show you one more thing that you can do. I have some scrap paper, and I'm going to make antennas that are kind of fun. So on my paper, I'm going to cut it down the middle, like so, and then put these together. And I'm going to make kind of a rounded shape on the end, like that. And then I'm going to keep going and bring this down. And do the same on the other side. We want it kind of rounded on the ends. And try to keep them together. I'm going to have them be the same cutting. Move my scraps away. And then I'm going to, and you can color and decorate these if you want to, but what I'm going to do is what I call a zigzag fold or an accordion fold. I'm just going to fold like that, and I'm going to go back and forth. See how it's making kind of a zigzag? Back and forth. Back and forth. Like that. And they have a little zigzag to them. So I'm going to move these and then look what I can do. I'm going to tuck them behind and my butterfly has some antenna. So I'm going to pull these out, uncap my glue stick, put a little glue. You don't need to glue the whole thing because they're going behind the head. Cap my glue again and tuck them behind and add a little pressure. Ta-da! There's my cute little antenna on my butterfly, and I would keep coloring and filling in these spaces. But that was really fun to make, and we made our butterfly symmetrical. It looks the same on both sides, or close to it. Nice job.